Say hi. So this little fella here, her name is Gooey, and we found her abandoned by her mother. And so I've taken her in. So Gooey was found abandoned behind my friend's house in a little like abandoned shed. We figured she was abandoned because all day she'd been meowing and meowing and meowing, but there was no mommy cat showing up to show her any attention or take her away or anything. And then eventually when it got really dark, it was starting to get cold. My friend went out and picked her up and called me and I came over and I met Gooey for the first time. So we're not too sure how old Gooey is. We reckon maybe like just over a month, but she is absolutely tiny. She's got her teeth mostly coming out already. We've got her on kibble, but we are softening it up as well. At first she wasn't pooping or peeing by herself, but just in the two or three days that we've had her, she has started doing everything herself, which is great. <laughs> this is going to be a difficult one to film. Gooey, what are you doing? Come back here. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Ow. That's really loud. You done? No? I've been looking after Gooey for the past like three, I think three days now. And she has made so much progress in that time. And she's so adventurous. Look at her. She's all over the place. As soon as I let her down, she's running everywhere around the house. <laughs> Which does mean I do need to cat proof my house a little bit. So I'm not a cat person. I've never had a cat. I've always been, I've always had dogs or always preferred dogs, I thought, but maybe I think I might give it a try with Gooey here. Look at that, look at that balancing act. Gooey. Come back. Once we found her and like even just after bringing her in, for like an hour or so, she was already pretty much just out and about exploring all she can. She doesn't seem like she's afraid of anything, especially have my friend's dog as well. She bought a fairly big dog, and the dog is very gentle with small animals, but Gooey here was not scared at all, which was kind of amazing. She's very brave, she's very curious, she's very polite. And she's so very cute. Isn't that right? You're gonna grow so quickly. It's gonna be cool to see how much she grows in the next couple of weeks. And how brave she becomes. Hopefully she's not a menace. Isn't that right? You're so cute. Ow, but you're a bit scratchy. Ow. I think it's time for her to have some food though, so let's make some food. She already knows this bowl means food. But first, let's give her some water. She's actually started drinking water by herself as well, which is nice. And then we picked up this Japanese kitty kibble, which she's been just scoffing down. She loves this stuff. Because this stuff's kind of hard, we have been softening it down with some kitten formula, which we bought as well. Gooey, Gooey, come here, come here, come here, Gooey, come here. So I'll just let this soak for a few minutes, just soften it up, and then we'll see if Gooey's hungry. Because she needs to eat because she's little, she's very small. I made her this little toy out of cardboard and some paper string. She seems to like it. Look at her, just running around already. She's just not afraid of anything. I've been vacuuming, I've been making noise, I've been, you know, banging pots and pans around while I'm cooking, while she's been sleeping and not a peep. Once she's sleeping, she's out. Hey, there you go. Don't go too far. But she just loves exploring around. Oh my gosh. She's climbing everything.
I can already tell this is going to be a favorite spot back here. Back here or on the windowsill there because it's got a nice, quite a nice view for you to look at. Growing up, I've always been allergic to cats, but for the past maybe six or seven months, I've been spending a lot of time with my friend's cats. And at first, I was getting all my usual allergic reactions, like sneezing, tightened throat, and a bit of itching. But more recently, I haven't had any allergic reactions at all whenever I spend time with my friend's cats. And she's not giving me any allergic reactions as well, so that's why I'm thinking I'll keep her. Are well, you going to sing into the microphone? Yeah? Okay, so I went to Emot because I want to get some stuff and just want to check out the pet section just to see if they've got anything that I might be able to get for Kui immediately. And I had a few things in mind. Luckily, they had everything that I had in mind. Managed to get something for her to scratch on. Got her some of those like tube snacks, treats. Um, got her some wet food and uh, a little toy. A little thing on the end of a stick so that I don't have to be flinging around stuff or using me as a toy so successful oh I also got a little food dish for, for her as well because the dish I'm currently using for her right now is like one of my really nice ones but it's the only one that has like a shallow enough lip that she can reach over but I just grabbed something really cheap for her as well so made a ceramic so it's safer I guess yeah but now let's go home and let's set everything up if you need to do another one down. There you go. How big this is compared to Kui. Oh, fuck, dude. She's such a short attention span. Ow! Mm, that's it, that's it. That's everything. Grab her. Put her on the cat tower. There you go. Oh, she's using it. I hope you enjoyed watching me learn how to be a cat dad. Every day, Kui is getting better and better, and it's pretty amazing how fast she's improving. But it's also going to be fun to watch how fast Kui grows and matures. So thank you for joining me today, and keep an eye out for more vlogs.